So it's not a secret we live in a crazy upside down world nowadays. The SUVs are out of control and running over children because Elon Musk programmed them to hate Christmas or some shit. Australia built camps for people to concentrate on having COVID and for the pleasure of being locked up against your will by lunatics. They're charging people for it. It's a novel approach. You've got to give them that. I've never heard of being sent to prison and being invoiced for it before. Oh yeah, and Joe Biden today banned black people from entering the USA after only a short while ago calling Trump super duper mega racist for doing the same thing. So we live in retardo land now. All sense of common sense is gone. The only thing you can do to survive in society is to actively be as stupid as you possibly can. And we know this pretty well in the UK, especially our police. There was that time when they spent my fucking money, my money, on a big fucking truck with a huge poster telling everybody that being offensive was an offence. Yes, our police actually did that. It was some kind of pandering to the LGBTQ alphabet people. And everyone hated it, including gay people, because this kind of stupid woke nonsense makes people hate gay people more because it's so fucking aggressively stupid. And the gay people aren't actually doing anything. It's the woke people running a hate campaign against them, as usual. Obviously, everyone's shouting them from a large height because it's not illegal to be offensive, because obviously it's not. And they had to backtrack and pretend that's not what they meant. It was to try and get people to report hate crime, whatever the fuck a hate crime is. So yeah, our police are fucked. That hasn't stopped them having a shitload of gay police cars adorned with the rainbow flags, of course. Why wouldn't the police have LGBTQ MAP decorated police cars? Because you know what really draws a community close to people's hearts? People driving in a car with someone's representative colours on them and then the people in the car getting out of it and beating them and arresting them. That has never failed to make people love them. So as I said, everything is completely fucked, but today one of the most stupid headlines ever printed in a newspaper was printed. Shall we have a look? Teesside woman accused of exposing penis, using sex toy and masturbating in public. Can you imagine typing out that sentence and not feeling like a fucking idiot? You can't. Congratulations, you're not a fat, woke white woman. And who is this sentence for? This is from a local newspaper. They are exclusively read by boomers and nobody else. And boomers are the opposite of woke. So at best they will think this headline is a mistake, an English boomer is not going to understand the concept of a feminine penis, because almost no one does. Once again, the woke people successfully running hate campaigns against the people they think they're helping. That's it for today's video, don't forget to like and share and subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks, boy.